there's somebody on the balcony. Should I use my street preacher voice and reach them? Hey, lady! Woo! Woo! Hey! Hey! Hallelujah! <laughs> it works. My voice still works, right? Okay, there we go. Oh, so all that down there is like vendors, and so they got lots of stuff, but I don't need anything. You know what I mean? I don't need anything. Oh, I can't wait to get to the Netherlands, but there's nothing like Paris, right? Get your spices going. God bless you. Okay, hey, greetings everybody from Paris, France. I got this jacket in Tokyo right before I left at a thrift shop for one US dollar, so I'm pretty happy about that. Thought I would bring it on the program. <laughs> oh, come on, Jesus. It's perfect. If you remember last year, I was in Ukraine this week, and, um, that's when I lost Behold the Lamb, my little road dog. And I got a winter coat that was beautiful. It was red. And I got it for four US dollars because they were going out of business. And I just happened to walk in there and I was like, 100 Ukraine, which is four US dollars, three, four. So praise God for deals, amen. So Paris, France is gorgeous. I've been here a couple of days, going on my uh, third day now. It is a little bit chilly and I'm staying at a hostel uh, that gives you an armband and this morning, I went down there and grabbed the scissors in front of the staff and cut it off and I said this makes me feel like I'm wearing or I took the mark of the beast and they loved it and they said you need to come tell the other staff what you just said and I said no problem <laughs> and uh, I've been a business person myself I ran a business for many years, so I love business stuff. And so they said, tell the guy in charge what you said. I said, I don't like wearing this. It, it got in my food. It gets on my nerves. It's wet right now. And I said, it makes me feel like I took the mark of the beast. And he's like, that's a little harsh, but we're going to stop doing these. He said, I thought they were inconvenient. I said, they're not convenient. I was eating a Mexican burrito yesterday and it was amazing. And it got like in sauce. So then I had to take my napkin and like wipe off the spicy sauce from my stupid hostel thing. Yeah. So anyway, now it's in my pocket, but it's nice to know that I came here and changed the entire hostel because uh, I they listened to my complaint. So praise God for that, and I shared about my dollar coat. I'm so happy, and I got my hair cut. That was the other thing I want to tell you, and one more thing. Every girl wants to come to Paris, France and have their hair done. And I haven't had my hair cut in a year. Those of you that followed my journey know I got my hair done in Serbia last year, cheap. I remember somebody saying on my YouTube, I got my hair done and she goes, I said it cost $35, which I thought was dirt cheap. She said, you deserve that. And when people say I deserve something, it, it kind of makes me laugh. I'm like, okay, so, if I spent $135 in Paris, which I didn't, I paid $28 for that good looking French guy to do my hair. <laughs> yeah, 28 euros. And he was good looking. I was like, hey, if you're going to get your hair done in Paris, France, at least give me a good looking guy. I think he was gay. Because he had rainbow stuff on his arm. But still. It was nice to have.
have a good looking French guy do my hair. <laughs> and so I have not had it trimmed since Bosnia. And it's been a year because I was in Bosnia August of last year. And so, yeah, I like it. Praise God. And I colored it myself a few months ago. Um, so, yeah, there's only one more thing I want to tell you. And it is that when I got here from Tokyo, that my bag didn't show up again. So the Russian Airlines, um, they, they did not transfer mine or any of the Tokyo people's bags because we sat on the runway for like an hour and a half before we even left. <laughs> we got to Moscow and we had to run uh, to the next one and that's the second time I've run through immigration so no borscht for me no borscht for me you know I set up the whole Russian thing so I could have Russian borscht oh forget it I had to run right by the borscht right so yeah no borscht for me um, and we barely made our plane and then when we got here it wasn't here one here people so I got my bag late last night um, yeah which was about 24 hours later oh I'm cold now cold Jesus so I've already seen some cute French dogs that's a kind of a bonus thing I want to tell you it's all a Bichon this morning it's all French uh, bulldog and when I got here Cindy wrote me and showed me a poodle and I was like, what's up with her changing her chat to Poodle? It is the national dog, people. I didn't know the Poodle was the national dog of France. But a 15-year-old in Finland knew this. So, Cindy, shout out to you. You're super smart. And, uh... I took down that other video, and like I said on that video, I'm not doing a fundraiser for a laptop. Uh, so my laptop is working better now, and um, tired, jet lag. But yeah, I don't know what the future holds for my YouTube channel. Uh, I. Um, my birthday's in October, so I'm very picky what I do in October, um, preparing for that. Because, you know, I like to enjoy my birthday, don't you? <laughs> so I don't know where I'm going to go. And I know the lady in Hung Hungary is saying, come to my sheep farm, come to my sheep farm. Because I keep hearing her voice say, come to my sheep farm. So I don't know, I might end up at her sheep farm. Well, let's see what God does with uh, me going to the Netherlands. And, um, yeah, it might be time for destiny. I ate with this couple yesterday at uh, the coffee shop in St. Michael area of Paris. They said, do you believe in destiny? And I was like, yeah, you're talking to the right person. So they really encouraged me. He was from Spain. She was from France. They got married. Their lovers moved to Australia. And then they ended up yesterday in Paris talking to me, encouraging destiny. I said 5780 is the year of destiny. So yes, I believe in destiny. 
That's why I'm wearing my spicy, my spicy hat. Let me show you the garden here and we'll wrap it up, okay? God bless you from Paris. Let me show you some cool stuff, okay? Okay, so they got like tomatoes going on here. Man, I would love to have a garden uh, on top of the roof of my, my apartment. There's some old guy working up here a minute ago. But yeah, this is the this is the hostel people. Look at how beautiful that is. And down here, this is the other side of Paris. <laughs> okay, that's my bed everybody. I got the top bunk. And here is the view from my room very beautiful